Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and you're watching Economy Bites. The people across the hall got into a huge fight the other day. Six, six cops came. Six. Nobody even hit anybody. It's a mother montage. <laughs> this recipe is based on a recipe from a famous chef that he cooks at his restaurant. He had a class where he told everybody how to make the uh, recipe. But for you, you don't have to pay the $70 to take the class. Because I'm going to show you my version of the recipe, which is really just as good, I think. Hi, Grandma. Good morning. Um, we're actually filming today, so we're just leaving the grocery store. It's like tomato, basil, spaghetti with mozzarella. Bow wow. Wow wow. Bow wow. Go wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. wow wow. This is porn. <laughs> Today we're making tomato, basil, rigatoni with mozzarella. Right now it's just not really tomato season. These were about $3.50 per can as opposed to the ones that, um, at the very low end or about $1.50. Uh, but I've, I've made this recipe with those before and they're not, they really don't taste as good. Why is the can opener, oh it's upside down. The can opener is like the hardest thing to use. We're just separating the tomato from the seeds and the juice. We're actually gonna reuse the juice, but we don't want the seeds in the recipe. This is kind of messy, but it's fun. It feels like you're like an old Italian grandma in the kitchen in Sicily, you're getting your hands in the food. I am a grandma to many bambinos. That's how you get. Na, 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 na. We're gonna reserve that sauce. Just gonna let that get hot. Then I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil and then our tomatoes. And now I'm gonna use a potato masher and I'm just gonna mash these guys up. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a cup of red wine. So let's open this. Don't, don't show me doing this. <laughs> we're gonna be making pasta in really salty water. And later on we're gonna add a little bit of that salty water to our sauce. So do not salt the, pasta, the marinara sauce right now. Now we're gonna let that cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. Every couple of minutes, we're just gonna go around and mash. We're gonna make a whole box and a half of pasta. And now we're gonna salt it really salty. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil so that they don't stick. Now I'm gonna make some uh, garlic basil oil. So this is like the key special part that this one particular chef does. Turn the heat on underneath this little cast iron skillet I have here, but as low as it can get. Go once or twice around with some olive oil. And now I'm going to put in there eight to 10 garlic cloves, and we're gonna leave them whole. It was only three bucks for this huge thing of fresh basil. Put in a really big, generous handful of these basil leaves. Let that cook really slowly until the garlic has a little bit of brown. I'm gonna add to it just a pinch of salt and some crushed red pepper. See how it's starting to get a little thicker? Oh, what we're gonna do is just wait. We're letting this cook for about half an hour, 45 minutes, just so that I keep it from not getting so, so thick that I don't have enough sauce for my pasta. I'm going to strain into here a good amount of this leftover juice. Now I'm straining it so that the seeds don't go in. Later on, if I need to add more, I'll add more. And now I'm gonna just turn the heat down a little. You see the basil has cooked down quite a bit. So I'm just gonna add more, because I wanna make sure this has a lot of basil flavor. And now it looks like our water is boiling. This is a one pound box. I'm gonna use a pound and a half of pasta. You could use anything you wanted. You could use spaghetti or penne or shells. And we're gonna let that cook about 10 minutes until it's good and al dente. Al dente. Al dente is what Grandma Hilda says. This is the most expensive thing we bought for this recipe. It's a little $6 ball of Belgioso fresh mozzarella. I love fresh mozzarella. It makes everything taste just a little bit fresher and lighter and more delicioso. See, it's gotten a little thick again. I kind of like this consistency. See how our garlic is starting to get brown here? I'm gonna give it another minute or two and then we're gonna take it off the heat and let it sit for a couple of minutes before we drain it into our pasta sauce. We're kind of at our ending stage. To the sauce, I'm going to add half a cup of this water here. Now that it has the pasta in it, it's really starchy, so it's gonna help our sauce stick to the noodles. I'm gonna just pour it in here. So using my spatula to get the oil, 
that's stuck to the pan. Now I'm just gonna mash this down. Okay, so let's just be adult about this and say that I didn't use enough olive oil. That's okay, people make mistakes. You definitely gonna wanna get more olive oil than what we got out of here. So instead of the two to three tablespoons that I said, maybe you wanna use like four to six tablespoons. So I'm just gonna add this tiny little bit to our sauce here. I'm gonna cut up some of this basil to put on top of the pasta. This is an easy little technique that is like a chef technique. So you just line them up on top of each other like this, and then you roll, like you're rolling a uh, sleeping bag. I used to be afraid to go to camp when I was a kid because I was afraid that I would have to roll my own sleeping bag and I wasn't good at it. See, look, I'm not even good at this. I'm gonna move my pasta sauce off now because I think it's about ready. Delicioso. So our pasta is done. So now we're gonna start the putting it all together process, which is the best part. To the bowl, we are going to add our fresh mozzarella, which is going to melt. We're going to add our sauce, and I'm going to mix. And you feel like you have made this delicious Italian dinner. You didn't use like any store-bought products. I mean, they're all store-bought, but you know what I mean. You didn't use, if you wanted like some more spaghetti sauce, you, remember we only used half of those reserved juices, so you could have used the rest of them, but I kind of like it like this. Okay, and now we're gonna top it with a little bit of basil. Let's take a bite just to make sure it tastes good so you can see the expression on my face when I get a delicious bite of this. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. She, it's really, really filling, so you don't have to eat that much of it, which is really nice. This is restaurant quality Italian food that you made in your kitchen using ingredients you could buy at any grocery store for $25 or less. Can you believe that? Look what we're doing for you here, America. Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and I'll see you next week. Okay, today we're making tomato, tomato basil rigatoni with- Again. What? Baby. Don't do that. Don't yell at me. I'm gonna hit you. No, hey, no. This is Omelet the cat. Please take him, handler. He's a pet handler. Let me wash my hands now. See how hygienic I'm being?